Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a KN intake system on a 2007 6.0 liter Power Stroke diesel. So, the first thing we're going to do is unhook the air filter box, and then we're going to disconnect the mass air sensor, which is right here. It just simply pulls off. Okay, next, I'm going to remove the hose clamp just to the rear of the air box so that I can free up some motion to get the air box off. Once I get that out, out of the way, I can loosen up my air box. Just push the hose back, and then the air box will slide right out. Kind of hooked on the bottom down here. And then I want to remove my next gauge out of the pipe, so I have to disconnect the electrical connection, and then that piece of hose will come right out and I want to keep that because there's some parts in here I have to reuse. So I have to disconnect a few pieces and you can see there's a couple pieces that I'll be reusing. So then I can take off my very first intake hose here and get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. Next I'm going to disconnect this hose that connects to the turbo here. So I'll take that hose clamp off of the turbo area. Once I get that out I can take this piece of hose out and there's a piece that's connected into the crankcase down below. You just pop that right off. You can see it comes right off there. Now that I have all the pipes removed, I'm going to go back to the airbox mounting area and I'm going to go ahead and remove all the grommets and the airbox holder because I'll no longer need an airbox once this is removed. And the new K&N kit comes with some bushings and washers and they go underneath and then one goes on top right in the hole for the old mounting and then the rubber bushing goes in next with the nut up top so I have to put one on the bottom here and make sure that I have a stud facing upward because that's where my brackets are going to mount when I go to put my new filter in so once you get it in it'll just be a piece of rubber with a little stud hanging up and it'll look something like like that right there. So then I want to repeat the process for the second mount and then I'll have two mounting points in the bottom where the air box used to be for my new intake. Okay the next thing is the bracket here and that goes on where the dipstick gets mounted. The directions say to take the nut off but I found it just as easy to put another nut the one that is supplied with the kit on and tighten that up so much easier that way now I'm going to start to put the hoses on I got a little flexible piece here that goes right to the turbo that's going to slide over the turbo make sure it's seated all the way once I get that pushed all the way on make sure it's nice and squared up with the uh, turbo there I'll go ahead and put my clamp around that rubber silicone, silicone rubber boot and I can go ahead and tighten it up. Now I'm going to need to use this piece from the old plumbing so I'm going to have to go ahead and get rid of this clamp on here. It's a little tough to pull off so once I get it bent out a little bit I can go ahead and pull this off here and it simply slides in with this rubber grommet that was supplied with the kit. So I'll put the rubber grommet in here once I get it and I can go ahead and push my breather pipe in, get that seated all the way and get it turned the correct way. And then that's going to simply slide back in. Now I need to get my other sensor here. These are some of the parts that I needed to use, reuse. So that comes out of the old part. And I'm going to reuse the grommet, put that in the new piece of pipe here. And I can put my sensor in here. And then my mass air sensor comes out of the old piece. And they supplied a nice Allen wrench that works very nicely with that. And it just comes out with two, two screws. And then it comes with a nice new gasket. So I'm going to stick that on here. Once I get that stuck on my sensor, I can go ahead and mount it back on. I'll make sure it's facing the correct way and I just simply replace the two screws.
Okay, once I get all the pieces mounted to my pipe, I can go ahead and install the pipe. I want to make sure that I put the hose clamp on first. makes it a little bit easier. And then once I get the pipe in, I want to make sure that I push my crankcase tube down into the crankcase there so I don't have any leaks. It's a whole lot easier to do it now than it is to uh, do it later. So I'll push it down in there, make sure it's good and tight, and put another clamp on. And then I can get the other flexible boot here that'll mate to the other solid pipe so I'll put that on I haven't tightened anything up yet but I'm going to here in just a moment so once I get everything seated I'll go ahead and tighten it up all the way so I can put my other piece of pipe on now my front piece get that situated just right and then I can go ahead and start to tighten things down a little bit here next I'm going to plug in my mass air sensor and then I'll plug in my other sensor here. Then I'm going to go to the new air box. And it comes with a little rubber gasket that has to be put in around it on the outside. And then there's also one for the inside. And you can see the brackets here I have on. Those mount to the two little studs down here where the air box used to be. And they just set right on there and they screw right in. I'll put a nut here. And I'll put one over here also. Once I get that tightened up, I'm then ready to put the flexible boot on the air filter itself. And it just goes on with a hose clamp. So I'll put the hose clamp on here and tighten that up. And then I'll stick the other hose clamp on the pipe because it's a little bit easier to put it on the pipe. Because then you can just stick the rubber boot through the hole in the new air box. Once that's in there, I can go ahead and tighten my filter to the pipe. And then there is one more bracket that goes on the air filter and to the front of the vehicle. So it's like a twisted bracket. It gets screwed in the front of the air filter here and then in the front of the vehicle. And I just have to tighten that down on the air filter and on the front of the truck. And that's how you install a K&N intake system on a 2007 f 256 liter power stroke diesel. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.